so the second round was actually a little more complex than the first round obviously actually no i mean the first round was uh, the uh, which was the first the shortlisting round which was taken okay. a test by the company after that uh-huh. there were three interviews hi and welcome back to coding ninjas guys i'm kapil singh and i'm here with another interview experience for you guys so today we're going to talk to ayush and we're going to ask him how he appeared in the cure fit interview okay so we are going to know about the interview experience we are going to know how many rounds were there then we are going to talk about each and every round and see what was the difficulty of that round as well so hi ayush how are you doing yeah hi hi kavi i'm doing really good okay ayush would you mind giving me a small introduction about yourself yeah okay so hi guys i'm ayush farshar i graduated from delhi technological university currently i'm working as a software engineer at tower research capital okay so yeah that's great so this is yeah this interview experience is about actually cure fit where i did which i did during my third year it was for an inter- internship interview mm-hmm. yeah. that's great that's great so talking about cure fit i use how many rounds were there in total when you talk about that interview experience yeah okay so basically it was an on campus hiring mm-hmm. so for in the on campus hiring there were three rounds okay uh, yeah so three rounds in total uh, is it including yeah. the online assessment as well um he, um actually no i mean the first round was uh, the uh, which was the first the shortlisting round which was taken okay. a test by the company after that uh-huh. there were three interviews yeah. okay so when you talk about the first shortlisting round how many questions were there in that round do you remember like how was that yeah. round and all that yeah i remember it was actually taken on uh, hacker rank Uh-huh. there were three uh, inter- uh, there were three uh, coding questions okay that, and there were no mcq questions there were only three coding questions so okay. the uh, the complexity of the question was pretty average i mean there was one question that was pretty easy mm-hmm. and the, the, the both the, the second ones were pretty average they required okay. the concept of dynamic programming arrays and <clears> some <throat> simple basic stuff that any programmer in his third or fourth year should know about correct okay not bad not bad so how much would you rate the round in total like would you would you rate it to be an easy round medium or hard i would rate it to be a medium uh, like average round it wasn't okay. too easy but it wasn't too hard for like a normal <clears throat> programmer to do yeah. okay so we'll we'll rate it a medium round okay now yeah. moving forward to the interview experience actually when you got shortlisted the first very round what was there in that round uh, in the first interview round uh, it was basically like uh, a coding round in another way but in, in this time i had to do the live coding in front of an interview okay so uh, it, uh, the interview was actually very friendly in this case okay. <laughs> so i had a good first round uh-huh. it was actually my first interview experience as well if i remember correctly so correct uh, considering that as well it went pretty nicely so That's she great. gave me uh, i think she asked me two or three coding questions at the time mm-hmm. and uh, they required the concept of dynamic programming and q yeah okay Yeah. So dynamic programming and Q, you were asked two questions. Okay, now I want to ask you something. When you talk about your first interview experience, this means that it was really, uh, you know, you you might be really nervous because it's your first interview experience. So what right. actually happened? Like when you talk about the difficulty when somebody applying for the first time goes like this. So would you rate it to be easy, medium, or hard? Yeah. So I would rate it to be. like an easy medium between an easy medium because like okay. it was my first interview experience so I was expecting to be hard or something like you know mm-hmm. it's too much but okay. yeah i mean considering how the interview was pretty nice uh, okay. to me and uh, the way she was handling the interview it was pretty uh, like con- uh, friendly the okay. environment and the questions she asked uh, basically i had done those questions already i had prepared for uh, similar questions already mm-hmm. so it wasn't too hard for me so for me it was a uh, easy between easy and medium okay and when you talk about the duration how long did the interview go Oh, it was a, an hour interview, but I think we finished up in fifty minutes. But the 50. actual duration was an hour. Yeah. Okay, that's that's great. So, uh, Ayush, when we talk about the second round of this interview, how how was the second round for you? Yeah. So the second round was actually a little more complex than the first round, obviously. Uh, so in the second round, uh, there were one or two coding questions, and at the same time, there were some technical questions asked as well. Okay. Yeah. So, how many uh, coding questions were there, and how many technical were there? Like, can you talk about that? Yeah. So basically, there was a system design question that was asked. Uh, like, it, I was asked to design a parking system, something like that. So mm-hmm. the system design, I had to explain all of my approach to the interview. He asked very deep questions as well as what my approach was supposed to be, how it can be optimized and stuff. 
Correct. And I think he asked me uh, two coding questions. One was a pretty medium, and one was uh-huh. uh, like an above medium, but still quite not uh, like a competitive, not competitive programming type of question, but still a pretty medium question. Okay. But uh, when you talk about the duration, how how long did the interview go for? Um, it was again like supposed to be an hour, but I think we did talk for an hour and ten minutes because I took some extra time for to explain my system design approach. Correct. So now again, since you only said it's a little complex for you, but the first round was easy, medium for you, like yeah. between easy and medium. How was this round for you? It was definitely above, uh, like a little above medium. Yeah. Okay. So, because, but uh, uh, because yeah. Uh, Tell me, tell me. Yeah, uh, yeah. I was saying that since it had some theoretical questions as well, and uh-huh. they, uh, like the interview really went into the like the deep stuff, like how the it, uh, things actually work and how my uh, my. He was trying to kind of judge you in depth of everything. Yeah, and uh, yeah. that's what made it a little harder than medium. But uh, when you talk about these interviews, and you are only saying it was your first time appearing for interviews. Um, how how did you feel after the interview? Like, did you feel that TKR I I cracked it out, or you felt okay? You're dicey if you did it or not? Because like, were you uh, confident enough after the uh, round that I I did it? Yeah, actually, I was confident. Enough. Um, uh, like you know, you just know the feeling after an interview. You have, you have been able to crack it, or right? Not. And right. I mean, I could see that the interviewer was uh, like he was okay with my answers that he uh-huh. knew I knew the solutions and he was happy with the solutions I gave and right. the optimized approaches right. and all the theoretical questions uh, like it was a little intimidating at first because theoretical questions always are like <laughs> something right. but you know I mean I was able to understand and explain my thing to the interview nicely so yeah right. I mean I could feel that I was able to crack it yeah correct finally coming to the last round what actually happened in the last round then yes the last round was actually a very uh, it was completely theoretical there were no coding questions asking that and the interview first of all did discuss about my resume and stuff mm-hmm. like uh, how many projects I've done, what I actually I use in my projects, how the approaches I've used. Uh, so I had created a chess engine back there. So he asked me what approaches I use and how the chess engine will be optimized and stuff. Mm-hmm. So that was the first thing. The secondly, after that, he asked me some four Java questions. Okay. And uh, yeah, he did went into a little more depth, like how Java things actually work in the details. Uh, the depth of the Java programming and everything. Mm-hmm. And uh, after that, he also asked me some uh, like uh, operating system questions, like how semaphores work, what are the conditions for the system to be in a deadlock and something like that. So okay. yeah, it was a very theoretical round and he the interview expected me to go into detail about it. Okay. Everything. Again, in-depth knowledge. In-depth knowledge. Okay. So I would like to ask you a personal question, personal preference question out here that do you prefer solving the coding questions or do you prefer the theoretical maths? Actually, I do prefer the uh, <laughs> like the coding questions because okay. uh, like here you are able to come up with an approach even if it not even with a little help you are able to crack it out. Yeah. In theoretical questions generally the situation is either you know or you don't. Right. Most correct. Yeah. yeah, that theoretical questions. But I think uh, even if you think out and you don't know the answer, you can't frame it out. But coding yeah, I mean, question at least you can to just yeah yeah coding may you can at least brainstorm something out that okay right this is how I can solve it out. But uh, in coding, you just need an approach and you can figure right. out an approach somehow. And uh, generally the most base approach, uh, it's very easy to find out. It's just mm. optimized approaches are difficult in a code. Right. So when I talk about the difficulty of the ra- last round, since you're not fond of theoretical questions, how did you find it? Was it hard for you? The yeah, final so round? <laughs> I did find it a little hard and I wasn't even sure I would be able to crack it or not. But oh, yeah, okay. they're, they're not fine. So. <laughs> great, great. Now, uh, moving forward to the final question of this interview before I conclude the interview experience for you i want to ask you what are the tips or tricks you would like to give your juniors or the people watching this video to you know do or perform in their practice sessions so that they can be better at interviews and better at cracking companies yeah so the first approach i would give <clears throat> to my juniors and everyone is mm-hmm. do not lie at your resume it's very easy for the interview to find out whether you're lying or not it's a do not okay. lie about a project about a previous experience or anything be honest and do not write i mean it's a very uh, straightforward do computer programming. I did talk to a few of my peers. They had written computer programming. And then the questions that they were asked were pretty hard. So do not do that. And okay. Yeah. And secondly, you should not have deep, uh, like just don't just start saying stuff when the interviewers ask a question. Go ahead and ask them like what he actually is trying to know, understand by that thing. And okay. then uh, give him the solutions that he wants. And don't just start talking and just start coding. First, talk out your approach with the interview. Like you're thinking about this way. This is the base approach. This mm-hmm. can be optimized in this way. This can be done in these ways. 
so that at least you are having a conversation with the interviewer and the interviewer knows that you actually know stuff and you're just some guy who has just memorized some code and just printing it out right? yeah i guess by the time you start talking to them you also get a little extra bonus time to you know right. think of more stuff while you're talking to him so that exactly. makes it a little easier for you get a little buffer time so that you can you know come up with a little more uh, um output out there because if you're not yeah. having that time and you directly start coding and you get stuck that makes a negative impact and conversing with the interviewer i is one it is making a good impact on the interviewer and second you're getting buffer time as well right basically it's thinking out loud i mean the interview knows what you're thinking actually and right. you also get time to discuss and you know it actually helps talking out loud what you're thinking and with yeah. someone who is actually from you can figure out from his expression if you're actually going in the right way or not correct so yeah that actually helps a lot okay so thank you so much ayush for uh, giving us this interview experience and i hope to shoot another video with you pretty soon also guys ayush has written an article for you people on our website so if you want to read that article out of this interview experience i'll put the link in the description below you can always go and check it out and i hope you guys find it uh, useful and get this video in handy while you're sitting for interviews in companies like purefit so thank you so much for watching this video hit the like button and the subscribe button guys i'll see you in the next one thank you so much happy coding